Hello, my name is Greg Michael and in today's video I'll be showing you my new keyboard throne that I use as my guitar stool. Uh, so the one, the, one, the one that you see here on this picture, it's exactly the same one as I sit on right now. So I, ch I, I decided to buy another one because, you know, I uh, obviously I have students coming in so I thought I'll, I'll get something so they can sit on, you know, instead of sitting on a, on a regular chair. And, and you know, I, I think there are many reasons why you should uh, consider buying one for yourself. And uh, before we get into that, I'll, I'll just do the unboxing bit. So bear with me one moment. I'm going to just open the box. Hoping that everything is there and hopefully I won't cut my fingers. Okay, so fingers are safe. So that's what's in the box. All right. That's it. Right. So it looks exactly the same as, as the one that I have. Okay. So what can I say? You know, you, you have three different heights. You can choose, you know, that three different uh, notches. But pretty much it's the same thing as I, I have. So I'm gonna do the swap. Okay. So I, I still I didn't fall from it, so I think it's, it's safe, you know. Okay, so this is it, you know, there you have it, it's exactly the same. I just realized that I have it on a, me, on a medium, you know, setting, you know, the middle position. But, you know, it's exactly the same thing and I I think I'm gonna have to make it a bit higher than, than, uh, than uh, than the one that I have. Okay, so so this is it, you know, I mean, uh, it's fine. So what what uh, what, what can I say? I, I, I want to sh sh share with you my story. I, I had the road accident about 15 years ago where I kind of messed up my back and my neck and practicing guitar for many hours, obviously, uh, it's quite tricky, so you know, having a proper guitar posture, it's something that uh, really helps me, you know. So, so I will kind of show you now how I sit and uh, practice guitar, you know, while sitting down. Okay, so I'm gonna stop the video for a second just to grab my guitar. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm back with my guitar, and and I'm sitting on my on my new stool, and uh, when I'm uh, when I'm uh, the way I sit is this: I sit actually on the edge of my on my on my uh, guitar stool, and uh, what I like about those uh, piano stools is that they don't have the backrest, because uh, you know I found that you know when when I had my chair, you know I used to I used to lean on on the on the on the back of the chair, and you know the chair wasn't great, so I was having really poor posture. So this uh, piano stool kind of f forces me to sit uh, correctly, I would say. So I sit on the edge of the of the stool. Then I actually have uh, a a footstool, you know. So it's another another product I highly recommend getting. It's quite cheap. You can get it on Amazon. I will post uh, the links in the description under the video, uh, so you can you can get it, you know, quite quite cheaply. So so I set this one probably to the third notch because I like my guitar pretty high and you know what I have it on my left I, I I put it under my left leg so most guys as you can see recommend sitting with the guitar like that but what I found is that when I when I when I did uh, I, I used to sit like that in the past but but what happened to me I developed some serious problems with my wrist and I had my problems with my with my with my shoulders so I don't, I, I personally don't believe that this is this is good position, a, a good posture for you for guitar player because it elevates your your shoulder, and uh, you sometimes don't have as good access to higher frets, and and uh, I think you know it's sometimes it's even harder to 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 grab your chords. So I I don't personally recommend uh, sitting like that. You know, sorry, I'm just looking at the delivery van. You know, outside my house. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so what else? So, so I when I when I had, when I developed my hand injury when uh, while practicing incorrectly sitting this way, 
I I obviously couldn't play guitar for a few weeks or actually months, and and then I one day watched a video of a guitar player playing some classical piece, and it was actually a piano piece of Chopin, and I kind of uh, I was shocked to see you know how is it possible to play the, the piano piece on, on a guitar, and how is it possible to you know do all those wide stretches of your left hand fingers and and don't have any injuries. And then I realized that the classical guitar players actually have a more correct guitar posture. So what I started doing, I started kind of implementing that classical guitar posture in my own guitar playing. And, you know, I come from rock background, you know, the fact that I'm obviously holding today an acoustic guitar doesn't mean that I only play acoustic. You know? So for many, many years, you know, I've been playing my electric guitar using that posture. And you know when you when you sit this way, you know everything is good. Everything is nice and easy because you can see your your fret, but if easily you have good access to frets. You can see everything. You can you have access to your high frets. It's quite nice. Now uh, I also use a strap while practicing. So in my instructional videos that you see. Especially those recent, recent one that I uh, they recorded, I, I I wear a strap. So what the strap does, it kind of emulates the 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 footstool. So you, as you as you can see, my my guitar is actually higher right now with the strap than it would be without uh, the, the strap. You know, on the on the footstool. So I actually started using my strap while sitting down. And what's good about this is that when I uh, play standing up, you know, kind of in life situation, the transition from sitting down to standing up is uh, not as uh, bad, not as difficult. So it's almost like practicing standing up while sitting down. That's my kind of uh, uh, strategy or my thinking behind it. So you see, as you can see, whenever I play something, you know, I play. That way, you know, and it's quite comfortable. Uh, so, right, I mean, uh, so the there you have it. I mean, the guitar stool or the piano stool, whatever, uh, turn into turn into the kind of mini lesson about guitar posture. I'll post the links to the to the product. I mean, to the to the to the piano stool and to the foot stool. If you are interested, I'll as usual I will to do the links to I'll put post the links to to my equipment you know that I used to to shoot the video. Um, uh, consider subscribing to my channel if you are interested in uh, gear reviews or whatever. You know I basically post things uh, or I'll be posting things you that are own. I'm not gonna do reviews of, of things that I don't use you know in my in my life you know so. So anything that uh, that I'll be posting here is kind of tried and tested by me. Okay, so I uh, I will see you I will see you next time and thanks for watching this video. Take care.